So I study skin cancers and I specifically study why they're more likely to form in certain parts of your skin more so than others. So if you think about your face, which gets mostly uniform UV exposure, um, and you think about where you're more likely to get sunburnt, for me it's typically bridge of the nose, uh, cheeks, forehead, but what we see is a slight bias in them forming near mucous membranes, so your lips, nose, eyes, and ears. But what's even more alarming is that they're a lot more aggressive in these regions. And so I study what it is about these regions that make the skin more or less susceptible to cancer. And if we look at our stratified skin layer here, where these pink are our skin stem cells and they're important for continually renewing the skin. And then your yellow is your um, more adult skin cells that are gonna get sloughed off the skin. And then below these stem cells, which are my favorite part of the skin, we have this whole dermal microenvironment down below. And so we've got blood vessels, immune cells, fibroblasts, among a bunch of other cell types. And so my work looks at tumor suppressive sites and I ask how these stem cells are different and how they communicate differently to the cells around them, both the other stem cells, and to their friends below them and how these different microenvironments might make a region more or less susceptible to cancer.